What's up everyone, Kirby here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a movie that I actually watched uh, back at my school like like a few weeks ago, and now I'm, I'm finally going to be able to review this movie right here on my channel. And, and this movie is going to be, today's movie review is going to be on the 1993 film Swing Kids. So basically what the plot of Swing Kids is, like, it, it's a war movie. It, it takes place in, in the 1930s where these uh, two high school friends named, named Peter and Thomas are, of course, what, uh, are, are of course best friends and they and they love listening to swing music which basically swing music is like uh jazz music you know with jazz music playing a lot of dancing th dancing and such um but but the problem is though is that uh um like their country is just trying to to be uh kind of peaceful with good old, uh, swing music, but, but there's also, uh, like, a, a war going on, and the, and the Nazis do, do not tolerate, um, swing music, uh, and, I mean, it is a war movie, um, and, yeah, it's kind of unfortunately what things were like during the 1930s, um, um, and, like, um, like, from what I remember in the movie, um, now, I've only seen this movie once, I don't really remember too much of the movie, but I think from what I remember, um, the, uh, Peter and Thomas, um, decide whether they should con continue with the whole swing music, or, 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 um, like, fight the Nazis. Uh, that's kind of how I can explain the plot for Swing Kids. So, my opinion on this movie? Now, I've seen some better war movies. Um, to be honest, Swing Kids is just a fine and solid war movie from, from, from the 90s. It's definitely pretty forgotten. Um, at, at and yes, I can pretty much tell that not everyone know, knows what this movie is. And I think Swing Kids happens to be one of those forgotten war movies. And the acting performances were were kind of fine, I guess. I mean, I thought um, Christian Bale was fine in the movie. Uh, yes, he's in that movie. And this was like way before he... Uh, he became really famous for playing Batman in the Christopher Nolan, Christopher Nolan Batman movies. But, uh, what I really did like about the movie Swing Kids, though, is that, like, of course, it, it, it features swing music, and there's the scene where, uh, everybody dances, uh, while that famous, uh, that famous, uh, song... Uh, Sing 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 by Benny Goodman and his orchestra is is being played. Um, I really like that song. It's very catchy and um, and I'm glad they added that song in the movie. It makes sense because the song was pretty popular in the dirty since um, what mu the music genre that was really popular in the thirties was of course swing and jazz music. Um, and the movie's also kind of sad, too, because, uh, like, the ending's kind of sad, too, because one of the characters, uh, gets taken away by the police, uh, and, and also one of the characters, uh, commits suicide by jumping off a bridge. Yeah, it's kind of a sad movie with definitely a sad ending. I mean, Swing Kids is a solid movie, but it's definitely not a movie that I would watch again. Um... So, for my overall rating of the movie, I'm, I'm gonna have to give it, like, um, a 6.5 out of 10 stars. Uh, I think that's my best rating for Swing Kids. I mean, if, uh, it, 
if you want to check out that movie, uh, by all means, uh, I mean, if, if, if you're a fan of war movies, I mean, if you liked Saving Private Ryan or 1917, um, I, um, yeah, yeah, you can give Swing Kids a watch. I wouldn't really, I personally would not really recommend it, though, because, like I said, it's just an, just a fine war movie that is definitely pretty forgotten. So, anyways, thank you all for watching and listening to my review on Swing Kids. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is me saying, peace out.